Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Beanie 101 and you're watching some more XCOM Enemy Within. We have another promotion, so that means uh, another person from my uh, subscribers uh, gets to become a member of the squad. Um, <laughs> there was a laughably appropriate name, uh, Mr. Expendable. So Carl Hahn becomes Mr. Expendable. I hope you like what I've done with him. If you want to customise him in any other way, then please let me know. Um, but I thought that was mildly amusing. So, uh, we have Oreo Winfrey that's uh, out for another day. And we're going to go straight for this alien abduction. I think we decided that we were going to go for the Heavy Sergeant. It's more of a promotion than any of the guys that I've got so far. We still need Kennedy to get a promotion. Um, I might sit... Um, well, I might sit Mr. Expendable. He is, uh, at this moment in time, expendable, I think. And bring another rookie along. So, who do you want to bring along? I am going to bring along Shin Kayashi. Um, and I might swap Bucky out. Hmm. I don't think we need medkits quite at this stage. We're only facing sectoids. They're pretty easy to deal with, so I'm going to swap to the frag grenade. It just gives us a... In fact, I'm going to put Rockefeller in. I'm, I'm going to have an assault. Yeah, why not? Let's go shotguns. Touching down. Okay, let's begin the assault. So We're heading to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Right, Operation Crystal Alien Stallion. Alien activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Let's see how this goes. I, th I don't know whether this is a map. I don't think this is a map I've done before. This is new to me. So this must be one of the new enemy within maps. I could be wrong. But here we go. Two more rookies coming along for the ride. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Ah. Standing by for your order. We have a rooftop. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. If we have a rooftop, I think that is a good place for our sniper. So, Micmac, Johnny Micmac can uh, hop on up here. And we have... Yeah, let's just pop Kennedy behind full cover. Ah, okay. I can see the meld in the distance there. There it is. So, uh, I kind of want full cover in case we trigger any enemies. Let's move here. I doubt so close to the edge of the map we're going to get any enemies that... Uh, okay, no full cover here. Okay, let's pop Hiyashi just here. And... Yeah, there's a there's a door here which is ominous. Wouldn't be surprised if there's some enemies around here somewhere. That's oh, no, that's not meld. Okay, this map is quite a bit bigger than I thought. If it goes all the way up here, yeah, okay. We should be able to get to that meld in four turns. I'm rolling. Okay, he actually can pop here. Uh, Kennedy. Uh, okay, let's have one person on Overwatch just in case. Ah, just in case something like this happens. Right, come on, Kennedy, take him down. Oh. Wow. Considering in the last mission Kennedy couldn't hit shit, that is on hell of an Overwatch shot. Okay, that makes things easier. Uh, Hayashi has a chance to get a promotion very easily here. 
I think we'll just pop him over here in this corner. That's affirmative. Chuck a grenade. And both of our rookies have got promoted just like that. That is very easy. Uh, so, grenades. Can I reach? Of course I can. It's blowing up a lot of cover. Okay. And so, that's two promotions just like that. Excellent. Heading there now. Hopefully we can get a bit more variety in our squad after the last few promotions have all been supports. Uh, and I think I can move Micmac. Oh. oh. I only wanted to move him once, but that was apparently the poorest dash in the world. That's alright. Rockefeller's going to head towards the meld. Oh! <laughs> you guys are in trouble. Oh! Especially when Kennedy's on the case, Jesus. Um, okay, he actually has a chance for another kill. Let's make absolutely dead sure of it. Point blank shot, 100% chance to hit. Thank you and good night. And that's it? Really? Jesus. And I picked the meld up because I ended the mission so quickly. I got both canisters of meld, excellent. Wow. Our rookies came up trumps there. Two rookies, four kills. Right, come on, be lucky. What are they going to be? What class are they going to end up as? I could do with another heavy and another sniper, I think. Oh my god. Not a single casual Two supports? Really? That takes a solid effort. Wow. I'm swimming in support classes. Jesus. Mm, I suppose at least I got a heavy as part of winning that mission. And I've got... Oh, what are these? Medals? You can visit the barracks to designate a medal. Okay. Um, I think that's something new. Remember, we... We'll be what are these medals? Um, okay, so here's our heavy. You can now honor Look at all these supports. The medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. Five supports. You and award medals in the barracks. Okay, so we've got a few uh, guys. All oh, right, okay. Let's level this guy up. So he's got rocket, he's got hollow targeting. Uh, plus 10 aim for anyone else shooting. Um, bullet swarm. Ah. That, that, get, that allows you to shoot twice per turn, um, which I like, so I'm going to take Bullet Swarm. Suppression is good. I think supports get suppression as well. Shredder Rocket is um, an extra rocket, so I'll be honest with you, for a heavy, the more rockets that I can get, the better. So I'm going to take that. Um, Mary Kennedy needs a name. Mr. Expendable we've done. Shinhashi. So we have three rookies. That require new names um, and new customization. Um, so uh, let me know your thoughts. Subscribe if you want to be a member of the squad yourself. And let's have a look at this officer training school. Because I've got a sergeant now, I can actually use the officer training school to... Okay, I'm definitely going to up my squad size. That makes things a lot easier. Um, wet work plus 25 experience. I might get that. I haven't got a lot of cash. Um, well, seeing as that mission was over quite quickly, what I might do is do a bit of base building. Uh, okay, we're close to the end of the month. What do we want? Genetics lab is 3 power. 50 credits. That will leave me running quite low. I want a satellite uplink here. That needs 10 engineers, so I'll have to get that at the beginning of the new month, I think. Um, what can I sell? Can I, se can I sell these? Ten sector cops. Oh. Mm, I'm really tempted to sell that power source for 75 credits. 
I don't need anything else here. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's have a look at these medals. Because this is something new. Assign power. Okay, plus five defense when in cover or plus five aim against enemies in full cover. Uh, the plus five defense is available all the time, right? So as long as I'm in cover, I'm going to get plus five defense. So what am I going to... Oh, I can rename it. Uh, the Urban Combat Badge. What's the skill? I'm going to call it the Cover Your Ass Badge. Or Cover Your Ass Medal. Just so that I can remember that the skill is plus five cover. Nothing more than that. Okay, and who do I want to award that to? Who is going to need an extra five defense? Um, it might be quite good on an assault. Assaults get up close and personal, so if we start triggering more enemies than we want, then that would be useful. So, congratulations, G. Rockefeller. You are our first recipient of a medal for services to the XCOM community. Right, International Service Cross. Uh, let's assign this power. What have we got here? Plus two will per different nationality in the squad and plus two aim per continent bonus XCOM has earned. There's only five continents, so that means a maximum of plus ten. You can have six. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to take the will, but I don't know who I'm going to award it to just yet. Let's rename it first. Uh, what do I want to call it if I'm taking the will bonus? Uh, per country. Uh, let's just call it the United Cross. That'll do. And in terms of who I award it to, I probably want to award it to someone that's got particularly low will, because I really don't want them panicking. Um, so let's let's have a let's back out here and have a look at our soldiers and see who has low will. Uh, 67, 59, 53, 46, 57. Okay, ah. Okay, Bazinga Baby looks like a candidate. Oreo Winfrey is another one as well. She's injured at the moment, so meh. She's probably gonna miss out. Let's give it to Bazinga Baby because uh, she's a support class. So she's likely to be carrying med kits. Um, and the last thing that you want is someone to get shot and then the person carrying your medkits to panic. So that makes sense. I will award that medal to Bazinga Baby. Congratulations, Bazinga. And those are the medals that we have to award. Okay, so what now? Uh, we might be in a position whereby we can start advancing time. Um, we're probably coming close to the end of the month. We've got 118 credits. Do I want to get this wet work? I kind of want both. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take the wet work, and I will take the iron will at the beginning of the new month once I have received more credits. I do need to launch a satellite. My satellite's already in seven days. Council report in 11. Okay. So weapon fragments, uh, we can now manufacture scopes. That is excellent news. They give you plus 10 aim. So it makes it easier for us to hit things. Um, Xenobiology is only four days. I'm going to do something a little bit crazy. I'm going to go straight for beam weapons. Because I think the sooner that you can upgrade your weapons, the I'm better. I'm still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying uh, us? Okay, so I've got a satellite available. Humans seemingly at random. It looks like there must wow. be a pattern that we haven't established yet. It definitely looks like Europe is somewhere where I'm going to launch this satellite. I probably want extra scientists, I think, to speed up the. Um, process of researching things 
if I want beam weapons. 24 days. So I'm, I'm probably going to launch my satellite in Germany, I think. Okay, Commander, satellite is ready. Satellite is prepped and standing by Excellent. For launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. I'll carry on. And I'm going to stop it with one day to go. And now we are going to launch our satellite. We've got two actually, but I didn't realise I didn't need to buy a satellite for this month. Um, so Australia, $60 a month, three engineers. Japan, uh, no, Japan we've already got. China is 100 But I think I'm going to go for Germany because I think I want scientists over engineers just at this moment. It does mean that in the new month I might need to order some interceptors to cover Europe as well, because otherwise I think satellites get shut down if you don't have any um, interceptor coverage. So one day to the council report. Here we go, let's see how we did this month. I'm guessing it's going to be quite good. We are extremely Great A. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Excellent. Okay, so uh, that's a pretty good month uh, for March. We didn't lose any countries. We, we will be in didn't lose any commander. soldiers. We barely got a scratch on any of our uh, soldiers. Um, our heavy got injured for a little bit, but she's now, uh, I think, Oreo Winfrey. I think she's now back. Um, I do need to order an interceptor for Europe, so let's do that before I forget. I don't want two. I'll just keep for one for the time being. I've got two hundred sixty-one. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Uh, what was next on my list of things to do? Uh, From what little I've seen of their technology. Do I need to buy anything? Uh, satellite uplink. Earth. I'll get that going. There's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing we have something else in mind. That will allow us to deploy quite a few more satellites at the end of this month. Um, I'll probably excavate here. What do I want to put here? I need a I need power at some point. I think I'm going to put power where I'm excavating currently because I kind of want a workshop or a genetics lab. If I put, I think I'm going to put a workshop next to the cybernetics lab because that will give me extra engineers and it will give me um, some adjacency bonuses as well. I think. Now, do I want a mech? Hmm. I could put our new heavy in as a mech. But then I lose it. Then I lose the only heavy that I've got that can shoot two rockets. Mm. I'm not sure whether I want to do that just yet. I think, in all honesty, I kind of gonna have to put one of my supports in because I've got so many of them, and it helps out defensively. I don't know whether it. I kind of like the the bonus heavy ability or the bonus assault ability because it. You know, my idea of a mech is that they're, they're tanky, right? They 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 can take a lot of damage, so anything that improves that is, is going to be good. Um, but I think I'm going to promote a couple of my supports a little further before I get a mech just yet. Once I get squad size 2, I think that's the opportunity that we get a mech in, because we can have then have 5 recruits and 1 mech. Do I want to sell this power source? I'm No, I don't think I do. Or do I? Maybe I do. I'm going to do it. Because then that means uh, I can buy some things. Uh, scope, yes. Two scopes. And maybe a satellite. Did I buy a satellite yet? I don't think I have, have I? So let's order a satellite, I think. Well, how much are they? 72. Yep, build a satellite. Because then when the uplink's up and running... I think I might even be able to deploy three satellites this month if I've got an uplink being built. I've got one available, one on its way, and then as long as I get enough credits for another satellite, I'll build a third. Let's scan for activity. That's enough base building for one uh, there. Right. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked hmm. on the hologram. I can get a Sergeant Assault, but that's a very difficult mission. 200 credits is easy, and 
Mm, London is for engineers. I don't think I'm going to need more than three satellites this month. I could be wrong. But I think I can deal with three satellites this month. So I don't need two uplinks. Because the four, four engineers would give me enough to get another uplink going. But I've got to excavate all over the place to get my second uh, my third uplink so I might I might just take the easy mission and the credits what have I got to buy I've only really got scopes haven't I scopes and medkits are the only things that I can buy but maybe that will give me an opportunity to to purchase a mech I don't know how much a mech is a mech might be pretty expensive I'm guessing okay so we have Hayashi and Kennedy, who both need new names. We also have Okafor, that also needs a name um, and customization. So please hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and you'll be able to make your suggestions for uh, joining our ranks as a, as a soldier. I do hope you're liking this output. Um, it's uh, it's something that I really do enjoy. Uh, XCOM in particular has been one of my favourite games for uh, the last uh, 12 months or so. Um, and I'm having good fun with, uh, with Enemy Within. I hope you agree. Um, but thank you ever so much for watching. And I will see you next time.